Hi, this is Mike from Sound Iron. Let's take a tour of the Elysium Harp, a 47-string grand concert harp library for native instruments, contact player, and complete control. That's right, you can use it in the free player or the full version of contact, and all S-series keyboards are compatible with it. Now I'm a pretty terrible keyboard player, so I'm just going to let the arpeggiator do all the work for me and show you a little bit of what this library can do and some of its basic default configurations, although there's a ton of content that we're not even going to touch in this video. The arpeggiator has a velocity step sequencer, lets you go from 2 to 32 steps. Right now I've got it set to 16, and you can hear it cycling through the pattern I've created. The mode menu lets you choose the directional pattern that the arp will cycle through as you hold down notes. Use the mode menu to select one. Let's choose move in. So now it's going to take the outermost notes and kind of work its way into the middle. The note length menu lets you control the duration of notes. Right now we've got it set to 8th notes, but let's bump it up to 16th. We really wanted this library to sound natural and alive even when you were playing fast. So we recorded a standard of 8 round robins per velocity layer. Um, sometimes even more depending on the specific articulation you're playing. There are a few other things you can do with the arpeggiator. Right now we've got it in normal mode, but you can also have it hold the notes and just let go and it'll keep cycling, or hold plus minus, which lets you add or remove notes by just playing a new note in this sequence. It'll add that, play that same note again, it'll pull it back out of the sequence. There's also a swing knob to let you add a little bit of swing either before or after the beat, and a humanized knob that allows a little bit of a randomization in velocity and timing, just to make it a little more natural sounding. Let's take a look at the effects rack so you can see some of the other options you can play around with. The down arrow lets you select from any of the different available effects for the rack. The on-off switches let you enable and disable them. The signal flow goes by row from top to bottom. This large room convolution impulse we have loaded right now in the reverb unit was one that we recorded in an old schoolhouse library. It's got a really smooth brightness to it that I love. Of course, there's a lot more you can do with RFX Rack, so play around with it. You can also fade effects in and out by automating the mix knobs for each module, but uh, let's just uh, cut them off. We'll play around with the effects a little bit more later in this video. Let's see what else we've got for you. We recorded the harp with three stereo mic positions, front soundboard, rear sound ports, and overhead, so you got a few tonal options to work with. You can control it in the mixer panel here. Your choice of any two mic positions loaded at a time, and you can route them to any channel you've set up in contacts output window. Let's dial in more of a lush hall sound. We'll bring up the rooms, bring down the fronts, more of a distant quality. Let's turn on the convolution, the effects rack. I've got a large room, library A, selected. You can control how the strings ring out with the release knob to get more of a muted pluck sound like this. The offset knob lets you shift past the starting transient pluck of each note to get more of a soft, patty, almost synth-like sound. You can also add a little bit of subtle vibrato. Should dial in a cool, dark, muddy sound here, but let's open it up a little bit. Let's focus on the front mics again. And of course, if you just use one mic position, you're cutting your voice use in half. Let's take a look at our pedal system now. When the pedals are on, it behaves like a concert harp, so there are just seven notes per octave. It also makes it a lot easier to gliss, just sweeping up and down the white keys. I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. You 
notice that as I change pedal presets, the pedal sliders down at the bottom of the pedal window snap to their new positions. Each pedal can be in um, a sharp, natural, or flatted position. And of course, once you've selected a preset, you can also manually adjust any of the individual pedals. For example, if I was to move this A pedal slider up or down, all of the A's across the entire key range would shift up or down with it, just like a real harp. Let's play around with the velocity graph a little bit to create some different accents. And let's try out some of the other rooms we have. And keep in mind when you change convolution and pulses while the sound's playing, you'll get a little bit of a pop. There's just no way around that in context convolution engine. And the same is true if you add or remove or enable or disable any effects in the effects rack, since they use context integrated effects system. Right now I've got the delay effect synchronized with my tempo. So the rate knob toggles between different divisions in time. But you can also do it just based on milliseconds by turning the sync button off. And you can do the same with the sweep rate in the flanger, phaser, and course effects. Let's bring it back down to a natural sound again. And let's bring it right up close and personal. We've also got a full gliss system that lets you draw your own patterns and uh, speed curves but we'll cover that in a later video. And our pedal system also makes it really easy to play them live with your keyboard. Well, you might want to give yourself a little more headroom since you can get pretty dynamic with the glissing. The library also includes a lot of natural uh, live recorded glisses that we did with harpist Jennifer Ellis. It sound fantastic. She also helped us create our pedal presets. They include the most common and important scales that a harpist is likely to need. So you've got a lot of options. And the Elysium Harp Library includes a lot of other features and options that we'll cover in some later videos. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.